remember what the ego is. It's not an entity. Mm -hmm. It's part of our mind. It's the mistaken thought. It's the thought that we could be separate from God. And we've given that thought a lot of power. So we need to look at the ego, thank it for sharing, but we don't need its input today. I don't need your input today. You know, we, we, we give our, th our thoughts a lot of credence, but a lot of those thoughts are not valid. So yes, it is this, and the Course You Know tells us, it makes the ego seem like it's something out there that has a lot of power over us. Well, that's because it's our thoughts, and our thoughts have a lot of power over us. If you try to go to sleep at night and you really need to get to sleep because you really need to get some rest, what's the first thing you do? Bless yourself and go to sleep. Unfortunately, we probably think, God, I got to go to, I got to get some rest because I need to get up tomorrow morning and I've got X, Y, Z to do. And if I don't get to sleep by this, I won't be able to be rested. And uh, Have you ever done that to yourself? How insane that is, right? This is the insane thinking that we go through. We need to get rest and we do the opposite of allowing ourselves to rest. I watch myself do it many times and I stop myself and go, okay, wait a minute. This is not going to achieve anything for me. I am going to go to sleep. I'm going to let my mind rest. And I usually do like a little meditation. I like to go down through my body because I think that's always just a very peaceful way to do it. And then I just program myself that I say to myself, my mind, you're going to have X number of hours to sleep and you're going to wake up ready and able to go, you know, ready and energized to go. And then I figure that's it. I'm programming my mind as best I can. I'm relaxing myself. I'm allowing, you know, God to, to be in my mind. And we need, and of course, you still sometimes have those little thoughts that like to come and plague you. And you need to stop them. You need to be, we need to be more accountable about our thinking. Stop those thoughts. They don't need to rule you anymore. And I know we think, well, how do we do that? Well, you just do it. Just like the workbook lessons. People say, well, how do I do the workbook lessons? I keep forgetting them. Well, then remember and do it again. But I forget. Well, then remember and do it again. It's just like me introducing a napkin to Michael. You know, to me, it is the same idea. And if you've ever raised kids and everyone in some of us in some way or another have raised somebody, have been responsible for somebody, and it really does mean it's an everyday process for us. It's a daily process. It's a minute by minute process of just reminding ourselves, reminding another when it's a child, but also reminding ourselves because what is our mind? It's just like a child. It's out of control and it needs to be brought back and given control. And the control is, I want to make my mind join with this. I don't want a madman's dream. I want all the loveliness of it, all its purity, its joy, it, and its eternal quiet home in truth. That's what I want not all this other stuff. And I cannot get that unless I put some effort into it.